My friend Bryn Bodie once asked me, how the hell do I tie a CDC rusty spinner but not tie the butts into the body? Because he wanted to make a super thin rusty spinner body. And I said, I don't know, just leave the butts out and just leave them sticking up. And he said, no, no, I don't want to do that. I just I want it to be just like I normally do it with the CDC on either side and that's it. And he says, I just don't know where to put the butts. So I said, I don't know. I'll think on it. Well, I thought on it. And I believe that I have the solution. Yeah, I want to be... I want to be... A turn or two before the back. Okay, the uh, tail. We can put the tail in because... We're not, uh, we're not tying the, the butts into the body, right? So we can do the tail on the body first. Microfibs. I hate these things. But that's what we're going to use because this is what Bryn uses. Now, we got to make sure here. These things have a tendency to get stuck together. So, we want four. And we don't want any more than four. I think I have four, and I'm cutting them off. And we need a pretty good length. Like here or so, I guess. Let's see if it's too long, we'll shorten it. So I'm tying it in, I'm going down towards the hook bend, and then I'm going to go underneath. And I'm going to crease them just to find the center, because Bryn likes to put a thread turn in the center. He wants two on one side and two on the other side. He loves that. So I like that. I don't know if you can see it. Well, if you can't, you can take my word for it. It's split. We're going to cut this to body length. Now we're going to bring my turn back here because I want to make sure that first turn of dubbing is, is going to cover up the back. Dubbing I'm using is this rusty spinner dubbing. This is Beaver. It's John Bonacero's dubbing. It's um, it's it's a match to the old Delaware River Club Beaver dubbing. I don't think they use that anymore. I think they still make dubbing, or they have like their own. Somebody makes it, and then and they put the, the their name on it. But I believe it's it's hairsier now. They're not using Beaver. Beaver is, is amazing though. I mean, it's hard. It's so much harder to get, obviously, than than uh, than hairs here. That's probably why they do it. We want to make sure. And what I might even do is just put a turn in between with the dubbing, just so I know it's covered up. Yeah, there we go. And now we're trying to keep this thin. That's the whole. That's the whole. That's the whole game here. So let's be careful. I want to glob it on, I think. I think we just need one more. One more turn. Okay, so there we go. Now we need four. Hmm. He actually uses five. Sounds a little crazy. Five CDC feathers when you're making two wings. How does that work? Well, it sort of works like how Dave Brandt does the wood duck wing where he doesn't cut the tip out. It, um, it's kind of like the same idea. It just splits. It's, it's just is what it is. You don't, you, you're, you can't, you can't, it's not like we're going to have three on one side and two on another. That's not what's going to happen. It's, the tips are so fine that, that, um, that you just don't see it. The tip actually splits in half. We just gotta make sure we got them even. So I got I got five here. And it can be a little annoying to get these tips to line up, but I think we'll we should be okay. So that's it. Now one thing I'm gonna tell you is is that you'd be surprised how long you need to make one of these these wings. Once you start
bending them and separating them and splaying them and tying them in and stuff, they get short. They get, they get really short. So make sure you have a decent length, like probably an, you know, an entire hook's length. Now what I do to tie this in, it's going to be tough to see this, but what I do is I kind of point the the tips towards me and I just get one turn on to hold it and then I take the butts and I turn them like that. And then I make sure I got my turns in there. Now, let's look at this. Got to make sure we have enough here. I think that should be good. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to find the center. Now, yes, we might have three stems on one side and two on the other, but the fibers are going to be even. And now we're going to take these. This is this is why we don't we're not putting the butts in. We're going to pull them up towards the front, and then we're going to pull the the wings back. And we're also going to take some of the fibers from the butts and add it to the wings. And whatever we can get in there, that's going to help us. And then we got that there. We're going to do a pinch and a loop. Make sure we're getting it onto the bare hook here. There we go. You'll know when you get it onto the bare hook because the butts will start pointing down. You got a few in there, then bring them up and then go to the front. This is going to help you cut them off. But let's look at what we got here first before we go any further. Yeah. That's good. So now we're going to cut them off as close as we can. Make sure we're straight. Now, this is pretty good, and we can leave it like this. But I can tell you, if I showed Brent this, the first thing he'd say is, "Yeah, I don't want the thorax to be to be gray." Now, I don't care, but you know, he, that's that's. Um, I just I just know he's not gonna like that. Now you could leave it, but if you don't want to, it's, it's pretty easy. All you gotta do is go back to your dubbing and cover it up. Now, it's really important that you're using a super, super, super tight dubbing. Like this beaver, this is ridiculously tight. You could put this on and, I mean, barely change the thickness of the thread. And, and, and that's really what you need. Because you want to cover things up, but you don't want it to be a gigantic head. So we got the dubbing on. We're going to go. We're going to try and make sure we got all the CDC. There's a couple of fibers here that I want. I don't want to trap them in. So we're just going to make sure that. A. CDC. Okay, here we go. Now we bring this thread to the back. You can see how, how thin it is up here. That's what we want. And then we'll go make sure these things are splayed nice. And we're going to put a couple of figure eight turns in here. Don't put any turns on top of another turn, because you're just you're just you're you're wasting you're wasting space that way. And always double check your dubbing and make sure it's it's pulled you know pulled tight. And once you got the thorax covered, go down. If you need more dubbing, which I do, I need to just barely. 
you might even get away with just getting a, a brown colored marker. That would work too. Now all I'm doing is I'm just covering this up. And I got the thread in the front. This one trapped one here. I'm gonna get a wet finisher. Just threw some wax on there. So I really don't use head cement on these fishing flies. Like I said before, this is a hook that I stripped from an old fly. It makes it's pretty annoying to strip strip hooks when you got head cement on them. Got one one guard hair sticking out. I'm just gonna cut it. Pretty simple stuff, right? That is a I don't know what you want to call it, but that wing technique, but it's something that if you want to make something look a little uh, a little cleaner, give it a shot. And you know, it's not gonna it's not gonna do anything to hurt it. Now it technically speaking, I don't think you saved any weight here because we had to pull them over, right? We had to pull them over and cut them. So that, that amount would probably be just tied in here. So it's the same weight. It's not a weight savings. It's kind of just a, you're, you're just making it look a, the body look a little bit thinner, which is a benefit, I would say. And I would also say that the thorax being a little bit bigger because you pulled the butts over, eh, that's, that's actually not bad either. If you ever look at the head on, on a um, on a on a Hendrickson spinner, it's a monster head. It's got those two eyeballs, those two those 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 two giant eyeballs. That um, they got a big head. Now, granted, I mean, the fish don't know. But as far as you know, just to give you a peace of mind, something something that is like, oh, I got a thin body and I got a and I got a large thorax slash head. That's really the way it's supposed to be. If that makes you feel good, well, then go for it. Because this thing works. And it's, 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 yeah, I mean, it might throw you another couple of steps. And it, they might be unnecessary, right? Just tie the butts in. But if you like it, you like it. All right. Thanks, everyone.